Hi guys, welcome to this video, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a tab system. You could work, use this as a wardrobe to switch cosmetics, but it doesn't actually switch your cosmetics. Just saying that now. Okay, so first, you're going to want to uh, go to my Discord. The Discord should be in the description. Go to uh, the scripts category and go into tab system wardrobe. And you're going to want to download the scripts. Remember, credit me. I did make these scripts. If you don't credit me... I will get very mad and then I'll probably say it and then you're gonna want to go to the uh, tab you want to go f up, up a tab so let's say this when I press this it goes up a tab you're gonna want to drag on the tab system the hand tag means uh, this should be hand tag already but it means what tag it needs to touch to go forward you could make these as trigger, I guess, but you do not need to, so you probably shouldn't. Uh, you go to the the button you want to go back a tab. You make this back tab system. You drag in the forward tab system, just like that. And then you're going to want to go to the forward tab object, so it'll be this. Uh, actually, hold up. Let me simple simple. Let me make let me make this simpler. Okay, so, you, this is the button that goes up a tab. You drag on this script onto it. This is the button that goes back a tab. Drag on this script onto it. And then the button that goes up a tab, drag the button that goes up a tag onto it. So, there. Okay, and then I already have my tabs, but, uh... Yeah, if you could see, I do have my tabs already for this tutorial. So if you could see, I did not mean to get multiple. So if you could see, I have this red one, I have this brick one, then I have this white one with the top hat. Then you're going to want to drag in the, the, the tabs you want to switch to onto it. So boom, boom, boom. You do not need to disable it. It disables on start. Uh, it, uh, so, it does loop also, and you could enable multiple game objects if you just make it so the tab works as a child. Make sure your tabs, your tabs shouldn't be, uh, disabled in outside of play mode, because it, it might glitch out. Okay. I did not mean to do that. What is that? Okay. Okay, so I'm a drag. Okay, I'm a I'm a make my player an actual player. Okay, so if you could see, that's him. Let's turn him. Let's get his right hand. Boom. And now let me just do this. And now, if you could see, if I press the button, it switches to tab. And don't think it gives you errors. Yeah, doesn't give you errors. See, look, let's clear it. Press the button again. Doesn't give me errors. So now you can see it's cube three. Keep that in mind. And it should go back to cube one. And then now, if we press back, it goes back a tab to cube three. So that's how you make a tab system. And in the next tutorial, I might be showing you how to make a working radio. Meaning, uh, whenever you press a button, like, look, I'll show you, I'll show you right now. Uh, radio. So, like, whenever you press, uh, a button. Yeah, this, yes. Mm hmm. If that makes sense. I already have the script set up. Uh, tell me if you want the thing. And thank you for 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you a lot for 100 subscribers. Uh, I didn't know I'll get this much. Uh, I have gotten like I'm pretty sure 80 subscribers in the last like two months for now. But yeah, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. Let's try to get to 200 by.